So in this lesson, we're going to be creating our tile map and then importing that tile map into G develop. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So first I'll create a new, let's say uh, we have a new map and I'll set that to 20 tiles by 12 tiles and has a 16 by 16 pixel. So what we will do is to quickly just save this project. I'll click save and I'll go to my first project folder and click on map. And here I'm just going to see level one, like so. This is going to save it as a TMX file, which is a tile map file that contains all our information. And next I'll click on new tile set, click on embed in map and click browse and click on that new tile set and click OK, because I'll be creating my map based on that tile set. So the first thing I'll do is to create this uh, ground layer. But before I do that, I'll just uh, Let's use the uh, marquee select, the shape fill tool, sorry, and click a blank space. And I'll just add two empty pixel spaces at the bottom. Then I'll select this uh, um, this tile here. And then I'll use that to just draw the grass or the ground where the player is going to be walking on. Next, I'll add some of these variations. Nothing too complex or too fancy. So uh, let's see. I'll also add just one here and I'll take this entire shape, this one right here. So once you select the entire square, you can actually draw a shape like that in this section here. So next let's add some platforms. So I'll just click over, go over here and click and just add this and flip and add another one for a platform. Let's add another uh, platform here where the player can jump on. So I'll add another platform here. So we have two platforms. We can even do a grassy platform just by uh, kind of like adding that, but I'll just leave this so we can just add some nice uh, variation here. Just to just place that and say the player can just jump on this and jump over and climb these platforms. So next I'll create some vines. So I'll just go over here and create some vines so the player can kind of like you know, or we can even place an enemy on these vines. And let's create a ladder so that our player can kind of like, you know, climb that ladder if he wants. And let's add this over here for the ladder and let's add some variation to this, like so, and add some grass here too at the top. And let's break that evenness by adding some of these. Let's even add some kind of like nice walkable area like so. So this is going to be a very basic and simple uh, level. I don't want to add anything kind of like complex in there. Maybe we could just add just one or two of this here, just another one here. And I think that's it. So the next thing I'll do is just save this, which we've saved already. So uh, next thing we're going to save this as a JSON file. So I'm going to go to file and say save as and here save as type. I'm going to click JSON and here where it says level one, I'll just say level one dot G S O N and click save and let's save our project again and let's uh, exit. So basically what we've done is to create a tile, tile map from a tile set and we're going to import that tile map into our GDevelop project. So I'll go to file and open recent. I'll open my first project. You can have this open if you want. And the next thing we'll do is to go to add an object and click on tile map. And right here where it says LDTK and tiled tile map, let's choose a file. I'll go to choose file. And what I'm going to do is to go to my map and where it says level one, and this is a type of JSON. I'll click open, but we're not done yet. We need to add the Atlas image. So I'll click on choose a file and then I'll click the tile set that we used for our project and click open and hit apply. So what we can do next is to drag our tile set and we can actually see our tile set like so. Or to be able to stack our tile set properly, let's go ahead and do one extra little step. So I'll close the instance panel and right here, I'll click on add a layer. I already have that layer added. So I'll call this our uh, 
level map. And what I'm going to do is to set this right underneath the player. So what we can also do is to, uh, well, on our layer here, let's set this to our level map layer. And then we can drag this and place it right here. So what we can do, we can actually drag this up a bit. Let's preview and see if things are placed properly. So it's actually uh, <laughs> kind of like messed up. So uh, let's go ahead and work on that. So what we can do is to drag it just where our player, our player's foot is. So you might need to turn off your grid. And I'll just drag this here. So what we're doing is pulling our Y. So I think that's a good uh, that's a good spot for this level map. So let's save this. And the reason why my player is falling is because I actually added this behavior. So I'll just delete that behavior because we've not actually. Uh, I was just trying to test stuff. So uh, let's just save that. Go to File, Save, and click Preview. So now we can actually see our uh, tile objects. We can see our uh, platform one and two, and we can see our small ladder. We can walk on this ladder and kind of like walk up here. Maybe there's some coins we've placed here. And so we could just walk up, jump to this platform, get on this ladder, drop down here and collect something in case we can't reach it from here. So basically that's how you could uh, easily play around, have fun and import your levels. What you can also do is because we have this, we can drag another instance of the tiled map and place this instance on the level map layer and just kind of like drag this and place it over here as well. We can do precision snapping if we want, or we can just set this like so. We'll just turn on our grid. So we could just snap things and they'll just align how we want them. Obviously, it is not the case. <laughs> so that's how you can create your, uh, let's get rid of the grid. That's how you can create a nice, you know, platform. So the next question is, how can the player know where it is? Because right now, how can the player actually detect collision with the tile map? Since this is a simple design, we could just create shapes that are going to be set to invisible that will where our player will collide with. So hopefully this helps and as a quick uh, tip of not having errors when you're working with your uh, tiled map. Let me just go ahead and open that again. So it's level one. So the first thing is if you, um, sometimes it goes crazy if you walk with multiple layers. So I don't know why it does that, but <laughs> GDeveloper goes crazy and it doesn't render your maps. So a second thing is to make sure you, you know, save it as, or you can export your tile map as a JSON file, like so. And if you do that, hopefully you're good to go and not run into any uh, issues. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.